What is going on today guys? Styx10 here and today we're going to take a look at Alolan Marowak comparing Hex versus Firespin. Which one's better in the Sinister Cup meta and why? So we're going to look at take a little deep dive here, look at some of the numbers. First off, my opponent is running Hex. So what you need to know about Hex is um, it is 2 damage, damage per turn and then it is 3.66 energy per turn so it is a pretty high energy gaining move uh, a lot higher than fire spin we'll look at it in a second and it is a three turn move so overall you're going to be getting six damage 11 energy so pretty low on the damage front uh, that is one thing that hurts it you are going to get stabbed though with a lowland marowak uh, and the lineup here that i was looking at was steelix versus um the Alolan Marowak and you can see my uh, Steelix is going to fall here to the Flame Wheel. Guys, don't run Flame Wheel. It's uh, 55 energy for six, only 60 damage. Much better to hit a Shadow Ball. You're not gaining anything by doing that. Next up, my opponent here. You can see I was a full on um, full HP Steelix when I came in against this Marowak and you can see that Flame Charge or the fire spin which is going to be nine damage per turn also gets stat or nine damage total sorry uh and it's three damage per turn and 3.33 energy per turn it is also a three charge move so what's interesting about that guys is you're gaining a little bit less energy so that does affect some of the moves um like to get to your first uh shadow ball it's gonna take five hexes versus six fire spins. But actually to get to your first bone club, they're both the same at four a piece. And then to your second, um, your second shadow ball is gonna be five hexes and five fire spins just because of how it adds up in that. So it does make it a little shorter there. Um, you guys can see here, uh, I've switched down my Alolan uh, Marowak has fire spin, so against this Alolan Sand Slash with Ice Punch, it's going to be doing super effective damage, like for real guys, like uh, it's just going to annihilate it um, and have a ton of energy built up. That's how you guys want to use this, is get it into a good situation, I think, like Steelix or something like that, farm up a bunch of energy, and then go into the rest of it. Also, um, Giraffe Rig gonna be a better matchup because fire spin is not resisted or uh, resisted like it is hex it is it's doing more damage and it's not resisted on giraffe rig gonna be a better matchup there as well uh, you can see against this dust clops we had saved up a ton of energy so we're just gonna hit this shadow ball now after we baited that one shield see if he uses a second shield and we're gonna go in and hit this for sure here once we get rid of this lag you know wonderful lag that always happens um, so you can see there it is and we do hit uh, it goes through one shield remains so very good matchups here guys uh, keep in mind shadow ball is 55 energy and 100 damage so that's a very high dpe there and then your bone club is kind of a trash move but you're using it mainly to bait shields out so let's take a look real quick at the overall meta and how it compares all right so we can take a look here we've got a lowland marowak uh, versus the custom one that is in pv poke for the sinister cup um so we've got hex right now shadow ball and bone club we are going to try to bait shields um, and so you can see we're getting 12 wins, 8 losses, and 4 draws. Um, you can see there are quite a number right there around the 500 mark. Uh, Metacham, Claydol, Brongzong, not surprising. Most of these are psychic types, of course, that we're beating. We're beating Dusclops, uh, Banette, Raichu, Dusclops again with Faint Attack. Mawa, we're barely pulling off a victory. That's going to be shield dependent there, guys. This is a one shield scenario, but you are getting the bait um, every time. Giraffe Rig's actually a tie. Um, a little Marowak, Probo Pass. I mean, a lot of these are really close, guys, like uh, Polyrath, uh, Bastiodon, Haunter is pretty far away, and Empoleon, you're getting wrecked by Empoleon. Um, 
166 on that uh, in the one shield scenario. Let's change this real fast to fire spin um, and then re update this. So now we are getting 16 wins, five losses, and three draws. Guys, that is a huge improvement on that and you can see some of those moved up quite a bit and a lot of them are fairly close so let's look at the top now and see what's in there my wow so metacham steelix moved up quite a bit um claydol cresselia dustclop still winning Malwile moved up quite a bit as well giraffe rig moved from a tie to a of victory that's because it's not getting resisted like i mentioned earlier dust clops probo pass is a victory Bennett, lolan right stays the same steelix with dragon tail is still a victory bronzong uh drifloom is a tie um polyrath is very close still bastiodon and polion gets a little close and your haunter matchup stays relatively the same i believe um, so you can see it does improve its place in the meta quite a bit. Um, and that is going to be why you want to use it. Um, I think Fire Spin is overall the better move. Yes, you're not gaining energy as quickly. But what we can see is if you do a Shield Bait. So if you do a Shield Bait, um, you power up all the way to Shadow Ball. So you have, basically, if you're using Fire Spin, you would have 60 energy for the shadow ball but instead you use bone club um, it's actually only going to take you three um, three more fire spins to get shadow ball again so you're basically um, your first shadow ball is going to be so you did six fire spins and then you did three fire spins so you did nine total fire spins to do a shield bait with bone club followed by a shadow ball so compared to you did nine hexes for the exact same thing. So your time is the exact same. The number of fast moves you did is the same. So that's very important guys to keep in mind in that. Let's go back one final battle just to show y'all um, how much I am liking a Lolan Marowak with Fire Spin. All right, so last matchup here guys, Lolan Marowak versus this Metacham not going to change a whole lot for uh, either use that you have um, i still think fire spin is the way to go you can see i get wrecked here by this uh psychic but only does about half of my health and we're able to do a shadow ball which will ko that metacham ggs to all the opponents as always guys like subscribe comment down below and keep on battling